what on earth did I wake up to this morning? So, if you haven't heard the news yet, Nickelodeon is releasing a Smash Bros-like game composed of famous and beloved Nickelodeon characters from all across the years and from various shows. Such characters include characters from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Loud House, Spongebob, Patrick, and yes, even Nigel Thornberry. They released a trailer this morning on Twitter, so let's take a look at that. So, I have seen this trailer before, but I'm going to rewatch it to, to look at some of the stuff in here. So, we got Michelangelo, and we got Lincoln Loud, and then we have this goober, which, okay, maybe I haven't watched that many new Nickelodeon shows, but who the heck is Powdered Toast Man? I, I might have to look that up, because I have no idea who on earth this person is. Okay, and then we got, we got Sandy up in here. Perfect. And as we see, like, the game sort of, the game looks sort of like it plays out similarly to Smash, where you have just special moves, you know, like where Sandy had her, uh, Sandy had her, um, sort of, uh, like her, her legs that shoot up like that. And that's gonna be sort of a special move, so, you know, similar to Smash in that aspect. Same with Lincoln, he has, uh, the sunglasses, which probably do something, I don't know, I'm not too well versed with the Loud House lore. We got Patrick in here. This is from, uh, I think it's Ah Monsters. Then we got the man himself, Nigel freaking Thornberry. Uh, and then that's one of Patrick's moves. I don't know if that's going to be like a special move. He, cause he is dressed up as the ice cream cone from, uh, from the one episode. So I don't know if that's gonna be a special, if that's just, you know, his like down air or something. And we have sort of a similar to like, you know, me brawlers side B. Okay. And then we got Lucy. Spongebob, of course. Helga. Another kind of surprising rep, along with Reptar. But it's clear that they're adding in a lot of these older characters because they want to sort of, uh, you know, bring in the older fans to this game that obviously watched Rugrats, that watched Hey Arnold, that watched Ah! Monsters. So there's clearly a, uh, there, there's clearly a decision put in there to add in these older characters for the older fans, which I think is great, but it depends which games they're going to, or which characters they're going to add in from which shows. They add have Invader Zim as well, and Danny Phantom, though, though Danny Phantom doesn't have a mouth, it looks like. I can't tell. I don't know if, like, that's his mouth right there, or they just don't have one on it. It looks kind of weird, though. Okay, and then we also have Leonardo, and there's going to be a lot more. So, as you can see, so here's one of the stages. This looks like uh, the Dutchman's Graveyard. Not the Dutchman's. Is it? it? It just looks like a graveyard, you know, probably where Smitty Warby Jagerman Jensen was uh, was buried. Uh, this is from Danny Phantom. This is like the, the doors. Uh, this, I'm not too sure, probably Invader Zim. Uh, you know, same here. Same alien thing. And uh, I was talking to one of my friends. Apparently, there's an air temple on here and I'm not sure if it's this one right here yeah so as you can see right here this is Aang's glider so that means Avatar the Last Airbender representation in some regard if it's Aang I'm gonna be incredibly excited because if you know anything about me I love Avatar the Last Airbender but it looks really good but this map it looks i mean just just from my perspective i can't really tell it does sort of look like the western air temple uh because it looks like they're sort of in the sky but then there's rocks above them that's what it looks like to me though i'm not sure um and then this it probably the toast guy i don't really know and then this is of course the the flying dutchman ship um of course that was spongebob using a probably like up special and then you know nigel thorne right here. <laughs> he's such a goober oh, and this is the loud house uh this is uh, a map from there uh and then we spongebob king jellyfish that same graveyard so they're just sort of cycling it shows like the same couple maps because they don't they either don't have all the maps yet or they just want to keep it as a surprise uh, this one right here, uh, I'm not, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because it's got the, uh, it's got the sewer thing to it. Okay. 
Yeah. So that's the trailer. That's all that we know so far. That is a that is what they have showed us. So as you can see, this game looks like it's a lot of fun. Now, one of the biggest things about this game that we have come to learn is two things are going to be added to this game that excite especially Smash fans, which are rollback netcode and wave dashing. There was a little clip that I think showed wave dashing to some regard. Let me go try and find it. Okay, I don't know if you saw that. Let me let me rewind it. I'm gonna I'm gonna play I'm gonna play it slow, because maybe maybe my eyes have to deceive me, but the sound is atrocious. I'm gonna pause it. Or I'm gonna mute it because the sound is the sounds ugly really slow. Okay, so watch Patrick. He jumps up. Okay, did you see that? If you if you have played Smash competitively, then you know exactly what that looks like. So he jumps right here. He's right here. And as you can see, there's this little there's this little cloud thing right here. At least how it was in Melee, when you wave dashed, there was a little bit of a cloud because you were hitting the ground. But as you can see, he slips through. I don't know if that's just because he, you know, landed. But with the jump height that it looked like he was going, the only way that you could get there is if you actually wave dashed. Or wave landed but the fact that he slipped through makes it seem that the platforms aren't going to be super sticky like how ultimates are so you can just fall through it looks like which if that's the case then i think automatically this game's movement is going to be nuts if you compare it to a game such as like rivals of aether it's got really crisp movement and you can move a lot around the platforms. You have really long wave dashes and you can do a lot of combos in and out of those situations and you can use it to extend combos. Now, a lot of this, of course, is going to depend on how the hit stun multiplier is going to work in this game. That much is true, but we're going to learn more once the game comes out. But it seems that with all these special moves that people have, the, the possibilities seem just endless. Because look at this. He's jumping, and now I'm going to put this to, to 0.25 speed so we can see it a little bit a little bit quicker. Yeah, so instantly, instantly he jumps, wave dashes down. Now, the, it might just because it would, that one was absolutely frame perfect, but it doesn't look like there was an animation at all. Because normally when you do a wave dash, you see your character sort of go invincible a bit when they do the air dodge because there was a little clip earlier where you could actually see them doing an air dodge and it looks really good and this seems good because of course you can do a lot with as you can see he he slipped through and he got uh some good mobility and fell through and was able to do i'm assuming that's just a back air you know, like he just kind of throws back, looking sort of like Captain Falcon's uh, a little bit, where it's got like a downward hit hitbox, like right there. It seems um, might linger a little bit, uh, strong hit, weak hit, something like that. But as you can see, it, it, that kind of shows that there is wave dashing and more advanced movement in the game. I'm sure there's going to be more specific movement for this game later on that people are going to be able to find out. There, I don't know if there's going to be canceling. I doubt there will be canceling because this does seem like a pretty accessible game. Um, but overall, very exciting. Very, very exciting stuff. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited for this game. I'm not going to be completely crazy and say this game is going to kill Smash. This will be the death of Ultimate because obviously Ultimate is still going to get patches. As I said, there's still going to be a lot more development with the meta of that game. And it's overall still has the sort of seniority over a lot of fighting games uh, that this game simply does not have yet. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and it will have a good launch success, I do believe, especially from people in the Smash community, because most people in the Smash community are a little bit older than myself or around my age. They grew up with Spongebob, they grew up with Hey Arnold, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all these shows, and if it's got more advanced tech in it and promises good online, then I don't see why this game would fail. Do I think it'll be as big as Smash or even Rivals of Aether for that, I don't know. We're going to see how the, the meta will develop, because if there's one overpowered character, then no, it's not going to be good for the game. It's going to be really bad, in fact, if there's an overpowered character. Uh, I hope the balance is good. 
The only worry that I have for this game is that it might turn out like Ultimate, because the big problem with Ultimate is there are over 80 characters in the game, which isn't bad in itself, but for competitive play, there's so many matchups that you need to learn that are just so far and beyond most people's capability, especially if they just go to locals and play against specific characters. They might not know the Sonic matchup that well. They might not know the Duck Hunt matchup that well. And this game may fall into that same trap, just because there are a lot of Nickelodeon shows. There are a lot of them. There's a lot of really popular ones, new and old, that people would want representation for. So that's the only fear that I have for it. But with the advanced mechanics, I think this game does have a good chance at success and could definitely find its way into EVO or even hosting its own brackets, which I'm excited for. That'll be all for the video. Thank you guys for stopping by and definitely be on the lookout because I'll probably be playing this game on stream. So come and check that out when it comes out. I'll see you guys there. Have a good rest of your day.